All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And this is take two, because of course it is. So, let us uh, look at what we've been doing out here at the old world, or new world. But first, uh, it, it, <laughs> how's everybody doing out there? Oh boy, it is 28 degrees in the Chicago area, and it's snowing. The first major snowstorm of the year. And we actually have about an inch of snow on the ground, which is going to make driving to work today oh, ever so much um, fun. So we'll just hang out here by the fire for 40 minutes. There you go. Now, we're going to go see what I've been up to. And the finished house over at... Um, there's a fox. Mr. Fox. Over at this uh, new world here. I said that already. These are cool trees. These are the larch trees. I want to make a large forest, do something with those, but we will come over here. This is strange. Look at all the bamboo. It kind of, it, it's okay, but I don't know. I like the bamboo, but out here, it really doesn't fit, kind of. So let's go to the nice sunflowers. Here is the completed um, house that I attempted to copy from Cool Villages, and I finished it. I took a lot of um, artistic liberties, one would say. Yeah. But it I think it turned out pretty cool, because it's my um, interpretation of it. There's a... Hey, you are one ugly horse. Hmm. But we have, um, it is done. Like I added these extensions on the awnings. Um, I did not do it 100%. And you'll see why. I closed off this area here to create like a, a walled garden and put a larger pool in. Because I like, I like water features. So let's go inside here. The staircase turned out pretty cool. And obviously I have different doors than what they have. There was also a doorway here. So this all mimicked. We had um, double doors. We had double doors here, but I can't see having a double door where it comes right out into the stairs. So we go into the ground level and I added doors underneath the stairs so you could have storage here and this goes out to the courtyard it's kind of cool yeah just something a little bit different and here modernize it we put a bathroom in yay <laughs> so the house had no bathroom so left the uh, bookshelves under the stairs which is neat this is, um, yeah, you can use this for whatever you want, but this is where the central heating for the house is. And you can climb the chimney. We have a, a stove or an oven. Very nice. And then we have a storeroom back here. Works out pretty good. And we come up here. And this is from these, the flat wood. And the rail and the fences are from cottages, but look how they make really cool wooden stair rails and guard and um, just railing in general. I also instead of the the one person said all oh, the wood was uh, too dark and ugly, but I mixed it up with the chalk because you would find that in medieval. So back here we have just a dining room. Very nice cottage of tables. I don't know what I want to put over here. They had a bunch of bookshelves and stuff. But I can I can utilize that area. I'm going to pull up a Christmas tree today. So we come up here to the second floor. And it's basically... I'll put a kitchen table in. Cool. And we have another fire for this kitchen. 
Very nice. Bookshelves come over to this side. You got a walkway. And it, I just really love... I know this isn't the most... Um, usefulness for space. But it's really cool. Come up here to the third floor. I haven't done anything with this. Now, there was... Um, divider here and divided these rooms off but I made it one big room same thing with the other side there was a bed over here so that was generate wow the fire went out that was generated from I wonder if that'll start up again oh yeah it'll start up again very cool I could split this off into another room but eh. so they had a wall here which walled this off into like a, a private area so I might do that again but who knows and then we have this room here this is one of my favorite rooms I can probably do something with this overlooking the back garden cool come up here and this is going to be sort of like a living room type deal. We can put some chairs here. Oh, what do I want to put? I don't know. Maybe a couch. There was... Oh, it's right here. Use the dark... We need a hammer just because so we can put we could put a couch here. What in the That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So what we're going to do is put a chair here. Cool. I was going to put a couch, but eh. We got this real cool balcony. And I changed uh, uh, anybody that saw the last video. This was all sand. So I changed it and put birch in. Could put a table here. Put a plant. Because why not? There's something else that I wanted to do also. Now I can't remember what what that was. Because why not? We'll put we'll put we'll put something there. Um let's see what we got for fern. I think it's that one. It's not that one. There's two different, there's two different fern plants. Maybe it's this one that'll, yeah, this is, this is the one. There we go. That's the one we want. So you come over here and there was actually, um, this was a balcony. So I just made it into a little alcove here and put some books or something and made it into one huge room. And you come back over here, and here's another balcony overlooking the back garden. Cool. But I'm going to do something with, with all this. Or just leave it. Come back here. More balconies. I kind of like that. But I want to leave this all as one room. And there was balconies here, but I decided against it. So... There's no way of getting out back here. Um, oh, you can get around from here. And then you had the attic. And they had beds up in the attic. So I just left it as an attic. Cool. So that is that house. I think that plant looks really good up there. 
So we can do we can do a lot of different things here. Put a desk in here. And I had you know what, let's put dark gray sofa, dark gray sofa. Oh, it's because I, I had moved it. Yeah, we just put some more put some more stuff there, put that there. There we go. Make it homey. I kind of wish this had three because then I could have put like a coffee table in there. But I can make one of these into a living room kind of deal. And then we have the kitchen over here. Nice. So that works out. That works out pretty good. I don't want to overdo it. Because you have to understand, back in those times, they didn't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so there. And then I found the Christmas mods. And these are these are pretty spectacular. So we're gonna we're gonna play around here. If you don't, you know, for anybody that doesn't buy in or buy into the Christmas, uh, it's just a you use it as a festive festive holiday, like Festivus. And, you know, so not to upset anybody with different religions, but it's there. So we're going to put some baubles on the tree. Boom. And that's all you can do with that tree. This is from the, um, the Christmas mod. And then there's also one for the Xmas mod. You can't put lights. Uh, but what we can do is we can put lights over here, make it real festive like. Oh, we can't. Oh. There we go. Make it real festive. Nice. Look at that. We are rocking now. And then um, let us see what else we got here. For the. Um, we have gumdrops. We have presents. Ooh. Nice. Put a present there. We have different lights, different uh, icicles. Now that looks kind of interesting. Let's see what those look like. We have another present. Mistletoe. Uh, I don't want to use any of these people because they kind of they kind of sink into the ground and you cannot get rid of them. Which is very weird. So. I wonder what. Oh that's. That's neat. And these are the white lights. I don't like the white lights. And we have uh, garland with lights. Stuff like that. We have Santa hat. Uh, cool. We have sugar. I, so if you're in survival, um, you could craft all that stuff. I'm in creative. So there. I wonder if we can put a present. To, yes, we can. We can put a present there. And then let's go on the other side and put a different present. Christmas card. Uh, so there we go. We're festive. Yay. I do think that's pretty cool, though. So, like I said, you know, regardless of what you believe, what religion you are, you could still have fun with the holiday and that. Um, usually, from, from my understanding, the Festivus used to be what Christmas is now. And it was a pagan holiday. And uh, don't send the emails. I don't need a history lesson. However, it was the last week of December and it was the darkest, dullest week of the year. And what they would do is they would have a festival. And this way it was like, you know, it, it does get better. And that's the whole premise behind the evergreen tree is because even in this darkest hour, the evergreen still lives. 
So it was kind of like, you know, a celebration to go, yeah, you can, you can do it. <laughs> Inspirational. And I know I'm botching that very badly, but, you know, that's what it is. So you can still enjoy, even take the day off. You get the free day off with pay. Most people do. And um, enjoy it any way that you see fit, legally. I have to put that disclaimer in there. So, let us... Why is there something missing from back there? Let's go back there real quick before I show this. So, we come back here. Something's... Missing. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, this is the back door to get in. And this was the gateway to there. So, I, I left the... Um, I left the gravel in. I like that. And I left the jaundice plants in here. We have a storeroom back here. The ladder. And then I took the liberty. I had... This is the, actually the third time recording this because something came up. So... Usually these people were self-sufficient. So we put a small garden. We got some corn, some wheat, carrots, potatoes. Um, I have no idea what that is. That's a, a tomato plant that needs watering. Uh, I don't think... Oh, there's a water can. Um, I'm wondering if I could fill the water can from over here. Yep, I can. So let us... No, that doesn't need watering. Some of these are from the crops. Oh, there we go. I have so many mods and they're so mixed up. So this is from the crops mod, but these are from farming. Farming doesn't need water. These don't. These are from farming. These are from farming. I do have water underneath here. Uh, so it should be feeding that. All right. So we, we have that. Cool. And I put a little rose garden. Roses. And to be self-sufficient, we have an apple tree. Very nice. So that is the, that is that house in a nutshell here. Oh, I wanted to fly around. And of course, I put a topper on the chimney for realism. We have one bathroom, five floors for one bath. What is that cow? Hmm. I'm out of ammunition. Oh, well. I love that ranged weapons mod. And no, no animals were hurt during the filming of this video. So there you have it. Just with a little inspiration and um, playing with it. That's how it looks. Very cool. So I changed a lot of this area. It was all sand. Now it's only partial sand with a beach. So now let's try to find um, let's try to find a wintry area real quickly. Oh, and I do have some comments. Uh, Simbicon uh, on episode ninety three, building streets with the Digtron mod, and she says that the streets probably would be easier if you used World Edit instead of that machine. But that was the whole point of the Digtron mod is to build a mining machine that, ooh, there's snow, to build a mining machine that would, um, and you have fun with it. Okay, there's where we need to go. But we're going to come back here. We're going to go right here. 
Very cool. And uh, that was a whole that was a whole point is you build that machine and you operate the machine. Ooh, a snow leopard. How nice. Um, and for Waza sixty four, thank you for the tip. It is greatly appreciated. And um, he has a channel which uh, I will leave in the description. And that channel, he focuses on shorter videos with uh, Tech Age and other really cool things. And his building style is drastically different from mine, which is really neat. There's a lot of uh, good uh, inspiration from those videos. So thank you very much. Um, Jonah Simmons. <laughs> Jonah Simmons. I, I, I... So I use Linux. I'm a Linux fanboy. However, and he says here, I'd just like to interject for a moment where you're referring to as Linux is in fact GNU Linux, or as I recently taken the calling it GNU plus Linux. Linux is not an operating system unto itself, but rather another free component of a fully functional GNU system made useful by the GNU core libs, shell utilities, and vital system components comprising of a full OS defined by POSIX. But in all honesty, I love your video and musings on random technology. I bet he's an Arch user. <laughs> so, no, don't, don't email. Don't do it. Now, I use Linux because, one... Uh, I'm a techie, and I am cheap, but there's a whole deal and the whole usefulness of it. It's a tool, and not every tool should be used by every person. Um, I know a lot of people that can barely use Windows. However, they should stay on Windows, and I'm not one of those elitists that say, No, oh, I use Linux. Yes, I'm special. No, no, you're not. No, you're not special because you know something that somebody else doesn't know. So, what is that? Oh, penguin. Hi, Mr. Penguin. I don't have no fish for you. So, the whole deal, the whole deal is, um, I can't remember what fish, I think they eat clownfish. Do you eat clownfish? Yes, you do. You're now tamed. You're 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 a friend. You're my buddy. Hi. Right. Now you're gonna follow me around? I don't think so. Here, have a fish. There. Bye. <laughs> and um, there's a. I I was planning on making a video of everything that I do on on linux and i might just do that so real quickly this entire channel well it started by using um mac os and and when i when i finished my bachelor's degree in 2015 i went out and i splurged on myself and bought myself a macbook air and which to this day is it's my second MacBook or Mac computer product. I have an iPad and I have a, a Android, I, an Android tablet and all that other fun stuff. But uh, you really? I didn't want to do it, but you're attacking me. The um. The whole, the whole deal is people are under this impression that you need a thousand dollar computer or you need all these tools and everything just to do any, you know, any kind of video creation or anything like that. And that is very far from the case. So if I come over here and real quickly, we're going to go here. Ooh, there's a desktop of the day. It should go. Kuchki from Bleach. Nice. I have a modified version of uh, Ubuntu. And to prove it, I am using 
this I so this computer has had three operating systems on it. It has two now. I have an Ubuntu Ubuntu long term support, which is this one, and I have the latest Ubuntu on another drive SSD running X11. Um, it's an AMD Ryzen five ThinkPad four eighty five E four eighty five with uh, seven hundred and fifty six gigabytes of storage, and then this is running uh, GNOME forty two point five. So there, there is that. But if you come in here now, I generally like the Unity or the the way that Ubuntu does it. But because I played with the modding of this desktop so much, um, I kind of put the bar back at the bottom, the uh, dock. So I have a bunch of games. Uh, Sour Broughton is not on this one. Uh, it's on my other one. I have all my internet stuff. Office stuff, uh, evolution, all the office documents down here. Only Office, which is uh, very compatible with um, Microsoft documents. I have graphics. I'm learning a lot about Krita and GIMP, which is the GNU image manipulation program, uh, badly named. We have some animation stuff blender is awesome inkscape real good my webcam works on here we have a couple different studios for uh animation raw therapy which is uh for photos digicam photo organizer along with shotwell shotwell's not in here though it's over in here sound and video shotwell and then we have caden live and shotcut all my videos are Produced on Shotcut, and I, I have no crashes. Ardour, or Ardour, which is similar to um, on Mac, you have Logic. Uh, very good. OS Stu OBS Studio is what I record everything on. Caden Live is good. I use it occasionally because I like some of the effects that it has. And Open Shot is another one that produces. Um, produces animated um, segments like I have snowfall in a couple of them and stuff like that and you want to learn programming but you oh, I, I can't afford all this programming stuff no Adam is free Jaspersoft community which is reporting for um, databases you can create custom reports Komodo IDE uh, for web development is very good Bluefish Editor, and these are all community editions. You could, um, Komodo and Jaspersoft have commercial editions, which if you're learning the software, you don't need. If you want to go professionally, then you might want to invest in those tools. Uh, I'm still a sucker for NetBeans and Eclipse. I like those IDEs for Java development. I do have PyCharm community edition for Python. MySQL Workbench for databases, DBGate and DB Browser is for databases. Uh, DB Beaver is also the community version, which is very good for SQLite um, and uh, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, all those different databases. I paid nothing for any of these. Here's the thing. I can learn almost every operating, any kind of language I want with them. So you don't need money to learn. And then you have your utilities, which is very cool. The thing about Flameshot, you can uh, annotate different um, screenshots, anything you want in, in Flameshot. KDE Connect, it'll actually connect to the iPhone or Android phones. Uh, what else is here real quickly? We have all our software libraries and stuff like that. Um, we have multiple clipboard, which windows just recently, I think, uh, two editions ago, Mac had, had this, um, it's a clipboard organizer. So what I can do is I can copy a whole bunch of stuff here for ease of, uh, pasting it in and then all your settings and 
This is exactly what I need, and I do everything from here, and I paid nothing for any of this. But I contribute, um, because that's the only thing that I can do. Uh, There are some non-open source stuff, like uh, Vivaldi, but it's what you need to get the tools, what you need to get work done. So let's go back here and finish this video out. I'm not on my server, by the way. I am... It, there's another snow leopard. So right here, we're going to put a tree. We're going to put this tree. <laughs> we're going to have some... We're going to have some fun. So, it's a... Uh, Leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. So, there. Um, yeah. And James Walker had put in, you literally just said you don't get hung up on acronyms, but I think GNU, GNU1 is funny because it's recursive. GNU is not Linux. Or GNU is not Unix. Maybe I'm the only person that to find that funny. I don't know. Boom! Look at that. We put a tree. And if you go back into my um, archives and playlists, you'll see a, a holiday playlist, which features a said tree. I had to go all the way back to the forums to find this one. This is uh, the Xmas mod. And it still works. It still works. Very cool. So let's give the polar bear a comprise a message. I don't want to comprise a message. But I want to give the polar bear a... Um, I want to give the polar bear a, a present. There you go, Mr. Polar Bear. And we can put some... Put some lights around here. Leave me alone. Cool. Now you're going to be in my way, aren't you, Mr. Polar Bear? The only thing I don't like about this tree is when you when you go to put something. Uh, don't make me hurt you. I wonder if I could do... Cool. Oh, it's going to take the snow off. Nice. So, what what comes with this? You you're asking. There's a plate of cookies. So we have that with the little tree bobbles. Um, this is kind of cool. This is what I did last year. So if we take yellow and cyan and magenta. We want magenta. No, we want blue. Yellow, cyan, and blue. So what you can do is you can take these little go light, glow lights from um, home decor. We're going to put that there, there. Put one here, here, here. I like decorating these. And you can add these little bobbles too, or balls. So we're gonna put, but I do like the yellow ones. And we can color these, color these lights. I should have chose also red. It doesn't matter because you can always take one out and put one in. And that's how you can add lights to it. Very nice. You can also go in and uh, we have a star to make your own tree, but we also have these other. Let's see, are we missing a color? Purple. No, we have purple. Oh, leave me alone. Here you guys, you play with a play with a ornament. Hmm. 
Nice. So there you have it. Nice short little video. And just because all these are red does not mean they have to stay red because we can change them to any color that we want. And add Cool. So there you have it. Oh, I did have a wonder what happened to um Let's go back to the Christmas mod. We had a candy cane. We had gumdrops. We had gumdrops. And presents, a peppermint block. Let's see what this, this does. Oh, nice. We put that there, we put some gumdrops here. Very cool. See, we're in the festive spirit. There you go. What else we got here? We got peppermint block. We have that. Um, a gingerbread man. Frosting block. Hmm, I don't think so. What's this one? Gingerbread man. Don't think. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Neither does that one. I think these are just food items, so you can't really place them. But we can place a peppermint block. And we can put other little presents. And one thing that I like to do is the cave realms um, have they have these, which are really neat. So you can you can put. You can put those around. <laughs> that looks cool. Isn't that right, Mr. Um, I don't know. So there you have it. Yeah, I know. That is, that is pretty special. So, if I don't put another video out, between now and Christmas. Um, there you go. There's your Christmas card. Hopefully everybody will have a very peaceful time celebrating it the way you want with Mr. Polar Bear here. That's actually a cool photo. We have polar bears. We have polar bears in the wild. There, I got a screenshot. So, as long as uh, everybody enjoys themselves, let's give them a, a bone. There you go. <laughs> oh, I might want that leverage skin. There we go. So, that's going to do it. Very nice. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put, I think... You can put um, a star on top of that other tree. There we are. We're back. That's cool. We can put a star. Now, if they can only make one for uh, Easter. There, now we're... Oh, yeah, I forgot the star. 
So for um There we go. Oh, I had it. Blink. We have a star. So there you have it. There's our Christmas spirit. Nice. So hopefully, <laughs> so hopefully, um, now to make my way back to the home base here. Hey, there we go. There's the larch trees. I like those trees. I want to play some more with uh, different forests. Come back here. And we're home. Go back by the cozy fire. And enjoy the rest of the day. So, thank you very much for uh, joining. And uh, until the next episode, like I said, if I don't see you, everybody have happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And um, go from there. And just uh, enjoy yourself and enjoy the people around you. And um, relax. Have a great day. So, goodbye.